Here we go. Cheers. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> That is bitter. Cheers. Hey, this is a thing? It has apparently been told to me that Nintendo Switch game cartridges taste bad. So the logic behind what? this, Nintendo Switch game cartridges taste bad. So the logic behind <laughs> oh, this is My boyfriend was Nintendo telling me about this this morning. So the logic behind this is that Nintendo doesn't want kids to eat the game cartridges. They this are makes very, sense. very small. Let They're intentionally making them taste bad? Tiny. Does it really taste as bad as they say? Let's find out. No. You're not really putting that in your mouth. Ew, oh, ew, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> Stop. Oh, oh, it's so Ew. Oh, I've heard it's pretty bad. God. <laughs> Wait, does it really taste that so bad? Yeah, I don't think it would. Ugh. Why would you want to put this in your I mouth? Can, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild tastes like nothing else I've ever tasted. <laughs> I would not recommend licking any Nintendo Switch titles. You're not supposed to eat them. This is what kids are getting into now, tasting their video games. What'd you expect it to taste like? Bread? I don't understand how anybody would want to put plastic in their mouth. Oh, I don't get it. So we're going to show you some other people now who have also tasted the Nintendo Switch cartridge. This is a thing? <gasps> he just... <laughs> <laughs> That's like a meme. Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> what, are they going to make it taste good? Are they that bad? They can't be that bad. So I licked the label? Oh no. Okay. How much of it? All of it? Why? Okay. Do it. Holy shit. It's really it's bad. It's not good. They're not lying. Oh! Please lick the label. Oh my god. Oh boy. It tastes like dying. It tastes like dying? <laughs> this is so weird. That's silly, but no one really describes it. Like, what does it really taste like? Now I'm curious. Do I like one? Like, I'm confused. What, does it really taste that bad? There's the game card. Hmm, let's right. sail to bad taste. All right. Okay, so I just spent all this money on this, and now I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> That's so bizarre to me. Why are these type of things going viral on the internet? No, I'm believing it. Otherwise, there's this huge conspiracy. What an angle. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! No, 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 no! <laughs> okay. Okay. It's so weird. I can't believe people are doing this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trend. That's so crazy. Honestly, I don't get it. By watching these, I can guess how this cartridge might taste. Like shit. I would try it out now, since everyone's kind of like testing it out. It's just a curiosity. Am I gonna have to do this? Where is the cartridge? Where is it? So these videos obviously came out after to become known that Nintendo Switch cartridges taste bad. That's nasty. So that means people were putting them in the mouse when there was no trend for it to have been found out. Why would they do that even if they didn't know it was a thing? I, you know, I, I honestly, I have no idea. I don't know why you'd want to put anything like that in your mouth. I don't know. Do, do I'm not really a gamer. Do gamers do that? They just like taste their, their stuff. People just like putting things in their mouths. What's wrong with that? You gotta sample what you're playing first. You can't just put it in your Nintendo not knowing what your Nintendo's about to eat. It's okay to put, you know, random stuff in your mouth if you're, you know, a toddler, but, you know, we know better. Play the game. Stop eating games. When you are switching cartridges out of the Nintendo and you're like, oh, where do I put this? I don't want to set it here on this dusty table. They put it in their mouth, put the other one in, and then take it out, and then they're like, ew, nasty. 
So someone accidentally tasted yeah. it and was probably like, dude, you, you gotta to try, try it. it! In the aftermath of this trend, Nintendo officially stated cartridges have been covered in a non-toxic bittering agent to try to avoid children accidentally swallowing them since they're so small. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Do so you think that this is actually gonna prevent kids from swallowing these if they do put it in their mouth? Yes. If something is small enough to where it can fit into a child's mouth that isn't supposed to be there, then it should taste like shit. If it's as bad as it was in the video, then yeah, because those those guys were like adults and they were acting like they were swallowing nails. Ugh. It does decrease the chances of someone actually wanting to stick something small in their mouth, even like your pet. For me, I'd be concerned for my pet too. No, no. not anymore, because the internet's tasting them. <laughs> and they're saying that it's not toxic, so they're gonna be like, oh, oh, let's taste it. Since they put this bittering agent on it, now people are intentionally tasting it. Maybe some kids would have choked on it, yeah, but now kids are intentionally doing it as a challenge. It'll prevent babies, but kids, toddlers, children that have the understanding and the curiosity of, oh no, I shouldn't do that, mm, I'm gonna try it just to see, I think are gonna be kind of titillated by this idea that it tastes so gross. And because people's reactions are so visceral, it makes you wonder, I'm wondering what what does it taste like? And Tommy, from your unique perspective, is tasting things something you do with more than just food? No, that's only, I, I, I only use taste for food, that's it. I, you know, I'll smell something and see what it smells like. Um, <laughs> but to get me to put it in my mouth, it's, you know, no, it, it's hard for me to get, you know, to put stuff in my mouth. It seems like things like this are going viral more frequently than ever. Have people always been doing things like this and we're just seeing it more often because of social media? Or are people doing things like this more on purpose because of social media and the want to go viral? I think it's because of social media. Social media is crazy. Social media has a lot of power and it intrigues us more when you see it online. When we saw like Glozell do the cinnamon challenge, like all of our friends, like we all wanted to do it. So I feel like the internet, like people on the internet have like a huge influence. There's always been adventurers. There's always been people who want to try doing nutty things and you know, see what something tastes like. But I think the more people see it, the more people try it. It's definitely both because a lot of people before, they would just put the stuff in their mouth to try it out. But nowadays they're like, ooh, I could get, you know, I could get Twitter fame, I can get Instagram or YouTube famous. Social media has perpetuated it to a much larger scale, but I think things have still had those kind of trends, they just take longer to catch on and they have this bigger ripple effect, right? So like by the time people on the outskirts of this trend are doing it, the people in the middle aren't doing it anymore. Versus when the internet is now about, everyone's doing it at the same time. And finally, you probably saw this coming, but we have something for you. <laughs> Oh great! Yay! Mmm. I wonder what it could be that might go in my mouth. Yeah! Give me that cartridge. I didn't eat lunch yet. Thank God. Thank you. I get it, but I still would have swallowed it if I was a kid. You're goofing. That's nothing. It's better than broccoli. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, it tastes it tastes a little bit like bile. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. Oh, it does taste. Uh. Here we go. That is bitter. It's powerful, and it's not getting off of my tongue. So that's fun. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> it does taste nasty. Mmm. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like, um, when you do your nails, uh, acetone. To me it's not terrible, but I still wouldn't put this in my mouth. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Have you ever, like, just pissed on a bunch of nickels and put them in an oven and then put them in your mouth? That's what this tastes like. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to everybody who's featured in this video down below. Goodbye, everyone. Hey guys, it's Ethan here, producer at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. What should YouTubers react to next time? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Ugh, oh, it's so bad. Ugh.